Hi there, it's me, Egil Thorson. Uh, we're doing a historical video and it's the spear versus the male shirt over there. First of all, I know it seems obvious question, what is a spear? Well, the reason I'm asking this is you have javelins which are for throwing and spears which you needn't necessarily throw. Let me explain. Javelin is self-evident, you just pick it up and throw it. A spear is used a bit like a billiard cue. You see, you hold it there and jab at the various body or bodies that you're aiming for. This is a light spear. Um, as I say, javelins are a lot lighter and they're made for throwing. So it may seem obvious, but that is basically the difference. Now, mail. What is mail? We keep talking about it, and yet nobody ever seems to explain it. Get the helmet. I will show you mail close up. Here we go. It's a series of rings that are joined together. The old days they used to rivet them. These are closed up, and it forms a protection. Now, I'll just put that there. If you're wearing mail, are you protected? Well, if you have a sharp, yes, you are. It will not pierce. However, on a point, it will. Especially with a spear with a hefty chap behind it, or hefty lady behind it, you ran. Now, it may, I mean, this is rounded off. This is a reenactor spear. It may well pierce the male shirt, but if you're wearing a, a gambeson, a padded jacket underneath, you got another go, because it has to go through that, through a thickly padded jacket, usually sheepskin, and then you've got your tunic or skerta, and then you've got this, and then you've got yourself. So it's got to go through quite a few layers. Um, I would imagine if you're in a battle, and you're stabbing somebody it's not a light stab it's woof. now there's another thing as well of course yes here we see the male shirt protects you but there you go fatal deadly wound you go for the eye and that will certainly uh, do the job even with a spear the small as that you imagine your eyes there you're into the brain and out you go so why bother stabbing here, here, when you can just go like that? Whether they did or not, I don't know. There's no, uh, we're looking at the skeletal evidence from the time we're talking about. And to be honest with you, I haven't seen excessive use of the eye wounds. Uh, Derby Museum have skeletal evidence of a Norseman from Repton. And I was told, correct me if I'm wrong, that one on the right eye is signs of a spear wound. <coughs> it's an interesting body, actually. Uh, we found that he had a wound to the eye and to his thigh. They hit an artery and he presumably bled to death. And in this case, I would say it was more a demonstration. Rumour has it that Ivar the Boneless was at Repton and what he was saying is i don't care who you are or who you think you are i'm the king you disobey me this is what happens maybe it's true maybe it's not but as i say male coats are all well and good but unless you protect your face it's probably a bit counterproductive we see in the old sutton who helmet a full face based on the roman cavalry helmet but uh, Again, you know, there are other weapons on the field, most notably arrows, javelins, as opposed to spears. Spears come in various uh, configurations. You get them like this. This is more, I would say, a hunting spear, because you get it in and out and in the way you go. Some of them have little collars on them. Those are called uh, wing spears. Uh, and used to hook a shield so you can get in they say oh if you're wearing mail so what not many people would wear mail 
it's very very expensive when we talk about a helmet being worth um, a, ha um, a house then mail is worth the whole village and that includes the residents with their blood price and even then the king may have mail maybe some of his favorite husk cars body protectors they're more likely to have a deerskin uh, leather jacket with iron rings um, stitched on it it's far more practical it's nowhere near expensive when you're wearing one of these it's a bit like wearing a wet overcoat you get used it's not as heavy as you think at the beginning but you trying to fight a battle you're very tired afterwards and the first thing you want to do is take it off whereas you get a bit more flexibility the air can circulate in a leather jacket and as I say cases of mail being found are few and far between they are extremely expensive even today it costs you a few bob and if you think that each link used to be riveted and a friend of mine uh, who used to be in the Viking group in York managed 70 links in a night before he had to give up because he was going blind with it also if you remember the people out in the Far East who are Muslim every other link was engraved with Allah is great uh, so I mean again that's a lot of work and uh, all you need is to aim for the face that's what I would do in those circumstances. Uh, so, to sum up, there's a difference between a spear and a javelin, and there are different types of spears, um, different purposes. The male shirt, extremely rare, but quite useful. As I say, when you have a point, it can part the rings, it's not parting them, or you slash all it does is blunt your weapon but you have a long thin point and away you go but you've got to go through the mail shirt you've got to go through your gambeson padded jacket and then you've got to go through your skirter and then your shirt and then into you so anyway that's a, a brief outline of spear and mail shirt and as i say Remember the safety rules when you're doing this with reenactment. Don't go po poking people in the face. It's not good. It's not clever. But uh, as I say, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you would like to subscribe, press the old bar at the top and the subscription bell. And uh, hashtag history uh, videos. You'll pick this up. Also, leave us a comment. We're always pleased to have comments and suggestions keep it clean this is a family channel but leave us suggestions i mean i think this was uh, somebody's comment uh, about this we're here to give you an insight into what you would like well the comments we will get back to you. it does take time i say this every time because it's true and uh, if you like it give us a little thumbs up if you don't let us know but let us know why constructive criticism is brilliant because we learn from that so anyway uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and no doubt we'll cover more historical subjects as time goes on so until then especially in these times stay safe and make the world a happy place bye now